Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico, and this is a review of XCU 3D where we're going to talk about how to use it, best practices, pros and cons, and all that shenanigans. Ready? Let's go. Alright, so what is XT3, XTC 3D? Well, it's, uh, it's a two part epoxy, it's a resin, okay? It's a resin that is used for post processing 3D prints. Um, the way 3D printing works is it lays down layers, right? So after each layer, there's going to be like a, a small gap between each layer that you can run your fingernail through. So it's not quite smooth yet, um, especially if you print um, at like 0.3 millimeter layer height. I normally print at 0.2 and even then I still try to use XTC 3D just to smooth up my print, especially for the Iron Man suit that I'm building. Um, so that is XTC 3D. All right, so we're going to show you guys how to apply XTC 3D. So first things first is safety. Get your rubber gloves on. This thing is going to be super easy, super quick. When this dries, it gets really sticky and it'll stick to you pretty good. So, all right, so it's two parts, this and then one part of the small one. So. 2A, 1B. All right, so I'm just gonna measure in my measuring cup here. I'm gonna put two teaspoons and I'm gonna put it in a disposable cup. Scrape everything out so that the measurement in the next cup isn't gonna be um, inaccurate all right and then before that uh, I made this aluminum well just because I want to have a, lo uh, a longer working time so I put that there now I'm going to take one part of B so I put two teaspoons there I'm going to take one teaspoon of this right there and then I'm going to dump that in also here uh, part B is the stinky one, just to let you know, or is it the chemical reaction? I'm not sure. All right, so once that's in there, you're just gonna stir it up, stir it up really well. And then, after you're satisfied with how it's mixed up, you're going to dump it in your well, make sure you scrape the sides, scrape the bottom. A little goes a long way you guys, make sure you, you only use, yeah, use it in small batches. Um, try not to uh, get too big of um, batches so that you don't waste it because when it cures it's, you know, a plastic. So, what I'm going to use it on is for this thigh piece for the Iron Man suit. I'm just going to take this and just brush it on. And that is it. That's it. That is how you use it. Super easy, right? That's all it's for. Now, later, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons about this. Um, you'll see why to use it and what, why not to use it. It all depends on you. Um, but I do like this stuff. I do highly recommend it. It's a great product. It makes my life easier. This post processing sucks. Right? So you just put it on. All right, that's it really. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll catch you uh, in the next segments of the video. All right, so I'm done uh, preparing this um, thigh piece. Uh, I totally forgot to put the spackle on this thing before I put on the XTC 3D. So it looks like I'm going to have some sanding to do after, but that's okay. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. But um, I put it on this sheet of aluminum foil just so that it there's going to be some sort of excess and I don't want it to drip all over my bench. 
So I put it on this thing. It's gonna dry in about two hours or so. Uh, it says it, it says a different time on here, but it varies. It's supposed to be 90 degrees today here in Northern California. So it's supposed to be hot. It's gonna suck. Anyway, so um, yeah, we're gonna let this dry. And then while this is drying, I'm going to tell you guys about uh, pros and cons of XTC 3D. Now, all right, so what are the pros for XTC 3D? So the first and foremost, it's super easy to use. It's just, like I said before, it's just two to one ratio. You just put two parts A, one part B, put it in your mixing cup, that's it, donezo, okay? The second part that's good about it is it has very little to no fumes. I don't even use my respirator when I use this. Um, you could if you, if you really want to. I don't need to. Um, even I'm my garage. I don't I don't do that. Um, the third pro with it is that um, it does a great job of evening out the print. It, it does it when you when you put it on as it sets. It just evens out. And it does a great job of doing that, so you have, you have a nice um, you have a nice finish to your 3D print. And lastly, another pro of it is a little goes a long way, you guys. Um, two tablespoons of the uh, um, or two teaspoons, I guess, of the uh, of the chemical is it goes a long way. So even with this, um, what is this? How many ounces? This, it, this is one pound. So this is a half pound, right? So a pound of each, um, when you order it, is, is is more than enough for I believe my entire suit because I I use this on a bunch of other things and I'm only about halfway done. So those are the pros of XCC 3D. All right. So what are the cons? What are the bad things about XCC 3D? So I really only have one beef with this thing, and that it kills detail lines. So what do I mean by detail lines? Um, like in this Iron Man suit, there's lines right here that they're, they're nice gorgeous uh, detail lines and when you put the resin on it fills in those cracks too which means when you paint it it's going to be flat and it's not going to show that. Um, it's hard to show because of the gloss and the light so I'm going to show you the picture of it right now. So that's a picture of the detail line. Now, if I take, say, this file right here, see, look, there's supposed to be a detail line there, and it's not even catching the indentation of that detail line. So what I have to do is I have to take a file and slowly carve that detail line back into the piece, which sucks. It's a lot of work, but hey, you know, do what you gotta do. So that's the con, it's a bad part about XCC 3D. So what are the best practices for XTC 3D? Well, what I've done is I've did a little experiment. Um, this is one of the failed prints that I've had. And what I did was I put spackle first on the, um, XTC, on the, on the piece, which is this thing. Okay, I took this first, put it on, took some water, just even it out with my finger, sanded it with 300 grit sandpaper, and then, and then I put on the XTC 3D. On this part is XTC 3D only, and I'm gonna show you guys the finish, okay? So here, as you can see, with the spackle and XTC 3D, there's hardly any detail, any, any layer lines that you can see. And then this one, you can really see the layer lines. Um, and so what I suggest doing is taking this, and putting it on your finishes first and then put on the XCC 3D that way it's got a nice even um, coat on top because if you do XCC 3D only it's that's what's going to happen I did not sand these um, after I put on the XCC 3D so if you guys don't like sanding it's a good uh, good idea for you so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys liked the video, just give me a thumbs up down below and don't forget to click subscribe. 
Also, if you guys are thinking about buying a 3D printer or if you just bought one, I made a course uh, on 3D printing for beginners. It's on Udemy. The link to the course is down below. If you guys want to go ahead and click that also, that'd be fantastic. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.